had last seen a slowly folding in Jira work management capabilities into their Jira software tool. Now, one particular feature that is slowly rolling in, but not quite where I thought I was going to be, is that of the calendar view. Now, I have made a video on Jira work management's calendar view, which a lot of people seem to like, but wouldn't it be cool if you can also have a calendar view in Jira software? Well, up until this point, it's technically not possible, but there is an interesting workaround that I'm going to show you in this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And don't forget to check out the links down below as I have links to my merch store, my paid courses, my free courses, and all the different ways that you can help support this channel. Today's video is brought to you by NASA, not another stand-up app. The Jira app that makes your daily stand-up seamless and efficient. Say goodbye to lengthy stand-ups and hello to productivity. So here we are in a traditional Jira software project. And a big request is I want to see the calendar view from Jira work management. And just as a little refresher, what does that look like? Well, if I go over to our Jira work management project, you will see that we have a calendar tab here. And this calendar tab allows us to like highlight dates and then create a task. This is a task. Hit enter. And that task is now created with the appropriate start and due dates. So if I open it up, you will see that I have a due date here and a start date that are based on that selection. Now, the biggest request is, well, now that Jira work management is going away and those features are slowly being folded into Jira software, how do I get this calendar view inside of Jira software? So let's go back to Jira software, but we're going to take a little detour. We can't go to Jira software. And for full disclosure, this capability as of right now is only available if you have Jira software cloud premium. So you have to be on premium or enterprise in order to do what I'm about to show you. But I don't know why Atlassian did it this way or why they're making it this requirement, but it is what it is. I just want to show you how you can actually access calendars within your Jira software project. So let's jump back into it. So inside of Jira, the detour that we got to take is we can't go to the Jira software project. If I go to Jira software, we're not going to see a calendar view anywhere here, at least not just yet. I'm hoping fingers crossed in the future as that lasting continues to work on the transition away from Jira work management that it does show up here. But for now, we don't have it. So where can we see it? Well, let me show you. So if you go to a plan and if you create a brand new plan, I'm just going to create this like a calendar demo and I'm going to pick a Jira project. So I'm going to bring in this Udemy class that I have here. I'm going to click create. So in this particular case, I am building a plan with just one project. It's a one to one ratio. Now, if you love the advanced roadmaps and you know that I can already put dates in here, I have a timeline view over here on the right and I can establish dates. But can I create tasks from the calendar view? Because if you notice on the left hand side, it's a little subtle, still in beta. But if you notice over here on the left, I can actually click on calendar. And when I do that, I can see my releases. I can see the epics that were there. So what happens if I go into the future? What happens if I go into like August and I do the same thing? I highlight five days here. Well, this is not going to do anything. It doesn't automatically create uh, an issue for me. And so this is unfortunate, right? So I was truly expecting, I think it would have been way cooler if I can highlight and then automatically create the task like in Jira work management. But what you can do is you can come over here, create an epic or a story or whatever it is you want to create. And we will test it out. We will do both. So I'm going to create calendar epic. I'm going to hit enter. Don't know how to spell it very well. Apparently I'm going to give it some dates right there. And then I'm going to go and create a story underneath that story one. And I'm going to give that one some dates over. Let's go to August. Let's just see if we can eliminate the confusion here. Right? So now I have my two, items that I just created, an epic and a story. I'm going to go back to my calendar view and I want to cheat. I want to go straight to August and see if it's there. It's not. Uh oh, what happened? Well, maybe we got to go back to a timeline. Maybe we got to push our changes and make those changes visible and available inside of Jira. So we do that. Let's go back to calendar. Let's fast forward back to August. Still not there, but we do have a drop down here. So if I click on that drop down and I go to story, there's my story. So pretty interesting. It does actually show up, but now I'm kind of curious. Would it have shown up had I not pushed in my changes? So let's go test that out. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to create yet another story, uh, story two. 
I'm not going to review these changes. I'm not going to commit these changes. And I'm going to go into September. And now I'm going to go back to my calendar view, go fast forward all the way to September. And because I'm still in my story, you're going to see my story too. So yes, it wasn't required, but you will see that it has a nice little subtle little orange here. Um, I'm assuming that this is saying that these changes are beyond your plan view. So you're going to want to review your changes. Yeah. So it's going to recommend that I view my changes. So that my friends is the calendar view. Again, it's not an apples to apples comparison. It's not the exact same thing. It does require you to go in and actually modify the start date and the due date of a task. I wish it was both ways, right? Because in Jira work management, you can do it both ways. You can set the start date and the due date, and you can go and just select date and it'll create it. Um, Elastian, hopefully this is a feature I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I may have to do a, a part two on this later if, if Elastian does refine this capability. But for now, if you are using, but for now, if you are using Jira software and you want a calendar view, and most importantly, and this is a big and, you are in Jira Premium or Enterprise, then this is a nice little alternative. Obviously, you got to go hunt for a little bit. It's not going to be in the project itself, but you do got to go build an advanced roadmap. And then you will see your calendar um, capability there. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Share this with your teams and coworkers. Check out those links in the description down below as this video is sponsored. So we have merch, we have um, paid courses, we have free courses, and of course, special thanks to our channel sponsor for making this video possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check out NASA for a smarter way to handle your standups. Cut down meeting times and increase your productivity today.